Hey guys, are you looking forward to some My Designs tutorials? Well, I am super excited to bring this series to you and I am launching this week with the introduction tutorial. So let's get started. Welcome to Making Merch with Michelle, helping you design, sell, and scale your print-on-demand business. So I want to start this tutorial series with a good introduction to my designs because there are so many pieces to this software. And if you are in the print on demand industry, then this is really a game changer tool because it really speeds up your workflows. So let's step back for a second. What is print on demand? Well, that is where you will do all of the design work. You will list and you will sell your products, but you use a third party company to do the fulfillment piece of it. So if I'm selling t-shirts in a Shopify or Etsy store, Store, for example, then I will actually create all those shirts. I will do all the work to set up my store, list all those items in the store, and I will actually sell those items. But that order will then go to a third party provider that will create the products. They will actually make the shirts with my designs on them and they will ship them to the customer. And then you take back over again with all the customer service part of that as well. It's a great model because it keeps you from having to have all of the inventory um, in your house or in your warehouse um, to keep up with and be able to keep in stock and everything. It lets you focus on more of the, the fun parts, which is all the design work in there. So that is the print on demand industry. And my designs is just one of the players in that industry that does the fulfillment process, as well as a lot of other pieces that I'm going to tell you about. You may be familiar with some other ones like Printify or Printful or Guten. There's, there's just, there's probably a hundred or more out there these days, but those are kind of the big players in the space. My designs has been out for a few years now, maybe about three years. And so they're still a new leader in the industry, but they have really been a game changer to how this process really goes. So I just wanted to start with giving you an introduction. What is my designs and what are all the pieces that go into this software? So let's just jump in and take a look. Let's start here with the dashboard. That seems like the best place to start. And we'll go over the different components of the product. And then in future tutorials, I will go into very specific um, lessons on you know each section and all the pieces that go into my designs. So if we start here on the dashboard, some of the easy ones to talk about is going to be your account level information. So that's where you're going to set up your account and your billing and all of your different stores. Now, now my designs has a lot of different integrations. Right now you can integrate with Etsy, with Shopify and with WooCommerce, but they're also close to launching integrations with, with TikTok and with Amazon Central. And then just more to come in the future as well. I currently have integrations with Etsy and Shopify myself. So that's kind of the count overview section. And then if you go over here to this side panel, this is what I kind of call the main panel that, that is more of the global pieces of the product. So once we get into side the listing, there's another panel, but this is the main one to get through all the functionalities that are in my designs. So over here you have your dashboard that just kind of gives you a high level of your sales and your profits and the products that are selling, just kind of the top level information there. And then you go into your listings and this is where we will actually set up all of our individual products that we list for sale. Then our collections, so we can house those listings to kind of together in, in collections that make sense to us. This is where you fulfill your orders here on the side. And then we're going, there is a canvas where we can actually create a lot of different designs as well as a dream AI. So when I'm telling you that there's a lot of all tools in one, these are the biggest pieces that you don't see in a lot of the other tools is that you can actually have all of the AI piece. So you can, there's as good of AI tools in here as you find anywhere on the web and they're constantly adding new models. And so you can actually start with your AI creation in my designs, and then you can go to the canvas to make all of the fine tuned details, or you can create your creations from scratch in the canvas as well. So you start with actually the creation process in my designs. And then we have the mock-up li library so that when you're creating your list listings, you can create all the mock-ups that go with it. Um, the way these are set up, it really kind of speeds up the process of mock-up mock creation because that honestly is one of the slowest parts in your listing process. 
Um, we have a color palette where you can actually make um, color profiles that you typically use. And then down here, you actually have links to the community where you can find a very active community that gives feedback and information um, and, and tutorials and stuff that are all part of the community. There is a weekly live session where you can actually give direct feedback to the founders of My Designs. Curtis and his brother Matthew meet with us weekly and our they're really, I've never seen a company that listens so closely to their individual users uh, for feedback and suggestions and improvements. And they are really most of the time pretty quick at getting all that feedback uh, active and out in the environment because they're constantly wanting to improve the product, just make it the best product possible in the print on demand industry. So you can find all of that in the community section as well over here. So this is again, a lot of your high level links to all of the pieces and parts um, to the My Design structure. So let's take just a little closer look at some of that as well. If you go into the listing section, so I'm gonna open that next. And this is just some sample uh, products that I have out here for my Moctique store. I have a, a Etsy mock-up store called Michelle's Moctique. If you ever need some My Designs mock-ups that go specifically and are optimized for My Designs, go check that out. There's a link down below. But this is just some samples that I have out here of some designs so I can show you how the functionality works basically. Um, so in the listing section, this is where all of your magic kind of really happens. This is where you actually post all of your products. I am definitely going to go into a whole tutorial just about the listing section because there's a lot of details to it. But the thing about this is that you can do so many things in mass. So if, I, if I'm using like the same colors, the same shirts, the same designs, I can pick all of these listings and list them all at once. I can go through the entire process to, cr to create the mockups, set the prices, add all of the listing information and publish them all together. So all six of those will go across um, to whatever the Shopify or Etsy store that I have all at the same time. And that is one of the things that really makes these processes so much faster in my design. So I can do like, I think there's some caps in there, but I can do, I think at least 40 at a time on one of the beginner levels. And then you can do even more than that if you do one of the pro subscriptions to my design. So that's a lot of products that you can list at one time makes that workflow so much faster there. So this is the listing page where all of that magic happens here. In your listings, you also have collections to get to your listings. So if you want to, you know, a system to be able to keep together your different types of listings, maybe you divide those up by the type of product you're doing, like you have all the mugs in one section, or maybe you divide them more into the subjects, like you have the holiday ones together or the Christmas ones all together. It's just however you want to structure that to make sense to you to be able to find all of your different listings that you have in here. So that's just your collection section here. And then in the order section, this is where once you actually sell your product. So again, you've gone into your uh, mock-up creations, you've listed your products, and now you've placed a sell. So all of your orders will come here and the fulfillment takes place at this stage of the game. Now, one of the biggest things that you can do with orders here is it kind of has some built-in personalization. So all the struggles that you have with trying to add personalized pieces to your products, and, you, and we all know personalization is so important, especially for Etsy, this makes it a lot quicker to be able to do that. So when you're fulfilling your order, you can update the personalization part right within the order. And it just makes it really quick and simple. You just add the name that you need and then you submit the order and you're good to go. You can also change your print provider at this stage of the game if you need to use a different provider or maybe somebody's out of stock with one of the products or you're just trying to sync up all of your orders. That can all be done in the ordering process as well. So this is kind of a standard ordering process beyond that. Um, you know, it's just a place where you can go and make sure that you're filling all of your orders and you can check the status of them. You can check the shipping. And again, everything becomes automated with whichever, um, uh, store that you have, whether it's Etsy or Amazon or I'm sorry, Etsy or Shopify, then all of those updates will come across to that as well. So that the orders and the shipping and everything will be fully integrated with that as well. So that's where the fulfillment part happens. Let's take a quicker look now. Um, we talked about how we list everything and how we fulfill them, but we didn't talk as much yet about the um, AI, AI piece of that. So, so over here in the Dream AI section, this is where I said that all, all of your um, 
you know, all of your different models of AI are available. And just to show you a few, I mean, they're adding them all the time, but you have the Dolly, you have Ideogram, you have Flux, you have uh, new ones that have just came in, some Recraft, uh, imagine, imagine, I'm never sure how to say that. Imagine, I guess. Um, so a bunch of different models here and all of those kind of have some different focuses and how they actually perform. Um, I'll try to do tutorial on that as well. Um, I'm not even sure what all of them do these days. I always have my favorites that I use, but so it helped me as well to, uh, to know a little bit more about those, but it's just, you know, it's everything that you need from an AI generation piece. And it's another one where you can do things in bulk. So if you're trying to do kind of a similar design over and over again, so maybe you're doing a design where you want, um, all the different dog breeds in a very similar design, you can actually do parallel prompts and you can say, here's this design now do it on this dog, this dog, this dog, and this dog and it will generate all the different breeds for you um, all at one time. So again, you can't do that in any of the other AI tools that I've seen. Um, and so again, lots of bulk work done that makes everything very quick and easy to accomplish. So great stuff that happens over here in the Dream AI section. And then in the Canvas section, if you're just creating things from scratch, they have all the basic Canvas tools in here as well. So you can um, add different templates, you can add um, different designs and elements, photos, shapes. Um, you can go straight to Dream Eye from, from this section as well to add a, a AI image in here. And then all of your different text tools. And, and they've added a lot um, to the text tools here lately as well so that you can distort them in different ways, whether that's a wave or a circle or free form designs. Those are all real, all real handy too, to be able to do all your different effects. It's got all the shadowing I and mean, just basically everything that you need to be able to create your designs. So if you're used to using like Canva, um, you know, it pretty much mimics the, the tools that are available in Canva. And um, one of the things they'll keep adding more to, I think in the future is more templated designs as well, so that you have, um, more templates that you can kind of build build on from the scratch. I do still tend to use Kittle a lot for those kinds of things today, but again, I'll just create the designs in Kittle and I'll just bring them over to, to my designs. But you have a lot of tools right here in front of you to be able to, to create those tools right within my designs and then add them to your listing collection. Um, so I think that's probably the good overall highlights, at least as my designs. Um, here's your mock-up library that I was talking about. They already come with a ton of different mock-ups avail available to you for the products that, that they have integrated with. And you can also do custom mock-ups. So if you need to add your own mock-ups that um, are very specific to your needs, then you can add those up as well. And that just makes, again, the listing process easier because you can pick all of your different mock-ups kind of at one time and be able to do all of those in bulk as well. Again, it's all about bulk. If you haven't heard me mention that a few times, all of the bulk abilities, all of the mass work that you can do, it just lets you do so many designs all at the same time. I can probably do 20 to 30 designs in, um, into my Shopify store. I can send 20 to 30 listings over there in the time that it would take me to do one in like Printify, for example. So it makes it a lot quicker. And it's all about the numbers game in this industry too. So you're doing a lot of designs to be able to maximize, you know, your exposure and your options, you know, your options to be able to sell a lot of different products. So it's kind of all about a numbers game. So that's why a lot of things in my designs are just kind of key to be able to do that work in bulk. I should also mention the products that are available through my design. They have a pretty vast product catalog, but it's also growing all the time. A lot of your basic things that you're going to use over and over again, your, your t-shirts, sweatshirts, hoodies, you got men's, women's, kids clothing. They also have home and living products. You have, um, blankets, books, journals, ornaments, stickers, magnets, wall art. Then you've got some accessories as well. Um, that are available for like uh, golf balls, tote bags, kitchen accessories. There's just a lot of options already available. This napkin integration with um, Taylor, uh, Taylor Prince, I think it's called. Um, that's a big niche that a lot of people are going into and it's gotten really popular on Etsy. So there's some information and some tutorials about doing some napkin designs as well. Um, and then one of the exciting things is they're getting ready to integrate with Printify as well. So in the next few weeks here, 
they will have a full integration with Printify so that you can actually take advantage of the full product catalog in Printify. It will be kind of a staged process, so it won't be everything available on day one, but I think that will happen pretty quickly. And so that everything in Printify will be available and as well as other products that they already have available here. So mass product offerings, there's really no reason why you can't find what you need uh, right here in my designs as far as products go. So let's take a look at the different uh, plans and pricing that is available for my designs. You can actually register for free. There are some things that you can actually do for free, like some of your mock-up creations, if you want to just get in there and try it out to start with. And then their plans are, are very reasonable. They have a starter plan that starts at $18.99 a month. Um, it goes up to $37. And then for the Pro, Pro, Pro Plus plan is $74 a month. Um, and you can subscribe straight through Shopify for these plans and stuff as well. Um, the difference in them is really in the cloud storage and the, the bulk processes in there um, and how many credits you get. So the, the dream AI part for all the AI creation is based on credits as you know most of the AI creation tools are um, and how many different things you can do at a time. So for example, you can uh, list four products at one time in uh, the, the beginner plan and up to 99 products with at one time with the, uh, the Pro Plus plan. So there's mainly differences in just how many uh, benefits are available at the time. But even in the beginner plan, there's a lot of features that are, are robust and, and ready to go for you. And a lot of the bulk features are already available for you. So it's a great starter plan to look at. Um, and I don't think you'll go wrong with uh, looking at any of those plans. There's definitely more details in here if you want to explore um, the information on my designs. I do have a link down below for uh, my affiliate program. So it does help me out if you sign up through my link. Um, so I think that's a good just overall introduction to my designs and uh, we'll keep working on some more detailed tutorials. There's so much to learn in this. Uh, because there is so much possibility to do in my designs, I do think it's a little bit complicated and can be a little overwhelming when you first start using it. So hopefully I can break that down for you a little bit and make the process a little bit easier and jumpstart you onto the ability to use my designs. If you have any questions down below or you want some specific topics to look at in the future, please let me know and also like and subscribe so I can continue to bring you this content. Appreciate your time today and I hope you have a great day and we'll talk to you soon.